קקלוש בוקר אור משנה יומי מסכת בבא קמא פרק ט' בצ'פטר 9 משנה סורי צ'פטר 10 צ'פטר 10 משנה 4 and 5 yeah? like this. זה בא בחביתו של יין וזה בא בכדו של דבש The Mishnah is going to be discussing laws and when a person suffers a loss, right, of, suff- of saving for another property. Right? This happens many, many times. I'm able to save something that I have or I already have something and then I come and I try to save yours. Why? Because it's uh, much more valuable. So what happens? So it says like this. Somebody, two people are walking. One is walking with a barrel of wine and one of them is carrying a jug of honey. So the honey, the, 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 the breaks all of a sudden. You know what he did? He took his barrel of wine, poured it out, right? And he saved the honey. Yeah, that's what he did. He only has, right, the fee, which is basically for his work, but not for the lost wine. So in, The only thing that he has is his wages. What do you mean his wages? That's all that he has. He doesn't able, he's not going to get the wine. Meaning, even though he threw out his wine, he doesn't get the value of the wine. He only gets his reward, reward of doing a job for me. Which one? Which, which one? The other guy. Yeah, yeah. The other one got lost the Kelly because it broke. They cracked the barrel of honey. So now the other guy comes and he pours out his wine. He saves the honey. Right? And now he wants the wine. He says, no, I'm only paying you for your wages, your salary, for your work. That's all that I'm paying you. Okay? But if he told him, he says, what's that? He asked him, do you want me to pour out mine and I'll save your honey? Right? Perek Yod Mishnah Dal. So, Chayav Litenlo. Right? He's obligated to come and to give him the value of the wine. Okay? Because the honey, he wants to honey because the honey is the honey. What happens? Yeah, we're talking about the honey. What happens now if the river overflowed? Right? And it swept away two people's donkeys. Yeah? Okay. Two people's donkeys. Right? And it swept away two people's donkeys. Yeah? One donkey is a hundred. Another donkey is two hundred. You see, there's different. Even in the donkeys, there's different levels. Yeah? So he says, 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 He left his and he saved his friends. Why? Because his friends was worth 200. He had one, one donkey worth one. Now, again, we're talking about donkeys, but really, man, this could happen in anything. Imagine right now there's the flooding. And you come and you think to yourself, what? You've got this uh, Honda, I don't know what, Honda Pilot, I don't know what. And the other guy has a, has a what's it called? He's got a Tesla. He's got a, a Bentley, a Rolls Royce. So, right? So, so what happens? So now what happens is, is that I'm going to say, listen, I'm going to make an investment. Who am I going to sa- save my uh, Honda? I don't know what. I'm going to leave my Honda outside. I'm going to take his uh, Rolls Royce and then drive it into my garage. And my garage is protected. It's higher up. It's this, it's that. So nothing happens to it. Afterwards, I come and I say, hey, give me. He's going to tell you, okay, how much is the money? You are a good uh, parking. Yeah, you're a good chauffeur. You're a good valet parking. How much do I have to pay you? Uh, $15 valet parking. Here you go. Just, I just lost my Honda by... Uh... No. Same thing. Why do we en no, have both cases? Chazak u Baruch, Richard. Ask you're question. asking, the Gemara asked the question. We're in a, we're in a mission. Come with the answer, Richard. No What is the answer? I don't in the first any case, idea. he poured the wine, so he made something. Ah, made very good. The doctor just answered you. Why did, what's the difference between the two cases? Why are you talking and not the listening? And the honey and the, he and said the, the first case, he said, For the first case, he had to actively pour out his own wine and then save the honey. In the He's second case, in the second case, he was passive, not active. He let his donkey drown. So there's a lot of people in the synagogue that are passive. They're not active. Rabbi, he, he let his donkey drown. It's the same thing. That's uh, that's he passive. Was, he sacrificed his donkey to save But that's life. passive. You didn't actively do something. Yeah. Next, the Imam Allah now he says, "I need a tzilat shelcha v'tanu tzilat sheli." I have to tell him he's obligated to give it to him. Yeah, fine. Next Mishnah, Mishnah five. Hagozel sadeh mechaveru. Somebody steals a field from another person. Untalua masikin. 
So the murderers come and they take it from the thief, right? So, right, well, these are people that they're gazanim. Yeah. So basically, what goes around comes around. You stole, they stole it from you, Bikitsu. If it's statewide plague, which means that they're taking the fields from people, you can just say, Here, this is yours. If it was because he was a gazlan, he has to give him another field. Okay, makes sense? Yeah, fine. What happens right now if the river flooded it? He could say, listen, this is something of a, of how do they call it when it's like not man, it's not, it's an act of God. It's like basically it, it comes from God, right? So all of a sudden they flooded over. He could say, look, here it is, right? That's what you have. And this is going to be you. 